Alrighty. Open for business. Who wants some acid? Good to go. Alrighty, dogs. Get in line, junkies. We got it all here. Well, actually, we don't have it all. We just have um acid. But that's what you're here for. Just the acid itself. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Falcon Basement. Update 0.27. We had a bit of an update on Basement itself. This actually happened like literally two days after I recorded my first few episodes for the series. And I have like the worst luck when it comes to Basement. Every time I record an episode for it, an update comes out like a day or two later. That kind of makes my videos obsolete in a sense here. But I recorded those episodes and then like two days later, update comes around. Which is a good update by the way. It actually adds a bunch of subject which I will actually feature here pretty soon. However, the downside is that I did lose my save, which isn't the worst thing because honestly, I was still kind of getting my feet comfortable around with Basement trying to get the understandings of it, which I now do understand a lot more better. And I also have understood the value of being patient. Don't over expand too fast. I was saying it a lot of times at the last recordings. I was constantly saying to myself, be patient, Falcon, but I'm a really impatient person in real life. So it kind of crosses over to video games too. So I actually did, however, get this already going on. I started playing a bit off camera so that we could actually catch up not too far off over here. And this is what I have right now in my main base right here. Now, what's really cool about this update is that we actually have a few new rooms like this over here, which is a healing room. Uh, essentially, now, if you want to heal your HP, you have to have one of these rooms unless you come over to your restroom and check this out if you do an upgrade over here i can actually add a few things to the rooms now for instance with the restrooms i can actually do a cold beer and food helps you relax faster which means i would not only regenerate health but i would rest faster too if i go with this one you rest 250 percent faster than you normally would and if you mix this one in here you don't do any resting you just do healing which is kind of weird because essentially it kind of makes the healing room a bit obsolete in a sense because if you could just make a restroom and then add a healing upgrade to it. It kind of makes the other one obsolete, however, more than likely with the upgrade with the um, healing room, you probably recover health even faster than 250, which I imagine is the case over here. I really haven't messed around with the healing room too much, but it's actually kind of important, especially when you don't have any room set up for healing. But I imagine if you want to make this a lot easier for yourself, just get the upgrade for this one here, and you will actually rest and heal at the same time, and you're good to go. But yeah, I really like this little feature about upgrading rooms. It actually works out with the power stations. It works out with the um, hiring stations, or I guess the hiring room itself for the employees. And it also works out with the drug labs as well. Check this out. For instance, with the grow box here. Right now, I already have this one upgraded with the... What is this one? The chemical reactor, which lets you produce 150% times faster than you normally would. If I went over here, I would actually use up less stamina. And then over here, this would actually make me use up a lot more stamina but the productivity goes up to 200. So you can kind of mix and match which one kind of works out for you. I normally go in the middle of the area here, which is kind of like productivity 150 as opposed to 200, but you don't get too tired doing it. So it kind of works out for me a little bit that way. But it's a really cool upgrade and I actually do like the little update for it. So this is our main base right now. I have taken over this area and I still have not actually made any moves here, but I'm thinking we're gonna be doing that this episode around. I'll probably start making this like a little bit of an acid selling area and kind of progressively go forward because right now as you can see we have a bunch of weed although we're actually selling a bit more faster now than I really expected we would which is actually kind of surprising so let's get this demolished out of the way I kind of really built this to kind of show you guys what I what the upgrade kind of entailed here <clears throat> so let me go ahead and make another weed station over here really quickly because we're our productivity is a bit low compared to our selling rate right now so we'll do build room we will do this bad boy right here in terms of electricity, we're at 77 of 80. So with the upgrade, this should probably meet 80, assuming the upgrade for it is going to be 3. If it's more than 3, we're going to probably have to break something down and add another reactor over here. I have a few people just wandering about because they are actually ready to be moved over here. So I did a little bit of, um, you know, pre recording progress here so we don't actually lose out on too much of the progress from the last um, update itself because i'd figure a lot of you guys would not want to see me start from beginning again and do all that stuff all over again so that's the reason why i took the precaution with that so this is up and running ready to go let's go ahead and upgrade it it's gonna be three perfect that's what i was looking for so i'm gonna do this one here productivity 150 install this upgrade boom as you can see it actually does have a superficial change as well there's this little weird setup around it which i actually do enjoy quite a bit Alrighty, so Let's find out right now really quickly who is freed up. Well, I guess we could probably do it a lot easier by checking our people up here. Nope, not our locations, but our people. Right now, we could hire one more person if we felt the need to do so. But right now, freed up, we have, let's see, Carlton. Carlton is freed up because I'm going to have him start selling acid for us over here. So he's going to be coming over to that station along with Clement, more than likely. And we do need a few cooks as well. Uh, let's see. I don't think Jonathan is going to be the guy, though, right? 
No, I don't think it's Jonathan. Hmm. No, he's my fighter. 22.3. He's already maxed out in HP and damage, I do believe, so he's fine. Um, Norman is freed up. His productivity is 1.7, so he's going to be moving over there as well, along with Rolando more than likely. Rolando! And we also have another fighter in Willy. So let's actually start getting this up and running. Although, wait a second, we do want to hire one more person over here, I'm going to say. So let's hire... Let's see, productivity. Anybody good here? 1.1. No main characteristic on Morris over here. So let's go ahead and find some more. It's going to cost me 500 for it. But so be it. Productivity 1. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's do it again. There we go. Fletcher. Fletcher is going to be the dude. So we'll hire Fletcher. Fletcher is going to be right here. I need you working over here. Do you know where you're going? Oh, he knows where he's going. I got it, boss. Going to make some weed for you. All right, buddy. You you go ahead and make some weed so we can sell it to the masses over here. Good on you. All righty. So, what are you doing? Are you just hanging out? Hey, get some rest really quickly, because I'm going to need you for the other station pretty soon. You, my friend, get some rest. You could also get over here and get some rest. My fighters over here are going to get some rest here pretty soon, too. Come over here, get some rest, and same with you. No, excuse me. I need you to the room. I hate this so much sometimes. Move out of the way, dog. There you go. Okay. Uh, Seller is going to get some rest here pretty soon. Sometimes they do it on their own, sometimes they don't. It confuses me sometimes, but I'm going to send you over here to get some rest. You could also probably do much of the same. There you go. Okay. So, for the most part, we have 7 of 10 junkies over here. Everybody is actually selling at a pretty decent rate, so we have not had a single uh, junkie revolt, which is actually pretty good. It might happen now that we move over here, but we'll find out. So, we want to move some people over here now. And I'm thinking we do, obviously, Clement is going to be our... Seller, he's got a pretty good productive rate too. I've leveled up him. I've leveled him up in two different categories, as you can see over here. I think he's maxed out in both of them, as a matter of fact. So we'll go with him. We will go with Carlton, our other seller, and then let's see here. We're gonna need uh, Norman, Rolando. We said, and that's about it, right? We could send the uh, tough guy over there too. I guess we'll send Willie. Willie's gonna go over there with you guys as well, just to kind of give you a hand in case things get out of hand. There, you're good to go. So as soon as they move over here, we'll start building some stuff. I'm thinking, I want to leave the shelf over here. I already made this one myself. I put this over here for some extra power. I'm thinking acid stand, acid stand, and we'll make some, I guess, productive rooms over here of acid. We'll get a restroom going down here, and we'll be good to go. So let's start off with this one here really quickly. Build room. Let's get this up and running. Let's also get mm, this one up and running as well. Okay. So right now, with this, we're going to get some more power going through the station. 2 of 20, we still have a little bit to go over here. Let's also start building a room for the acid stall, which is going to be 7. Which is 5. Okay, so we'll definitely need a few extra battery rooms here, because acid stations do require more power, which does make sense. So we'll place this one over here for now. This will put us about 16, if I'm right. Before the um, upgrades to the stations themselves, obviously. Place that one there as well. <clears throat> so we'll see how this one plays out. You guys over here should be relatively fine, right? Yeah. You are completely maxed out, so no more training for you. What about you, my friend? You're maxed out as well. No more training for you. Okay. So, this is good to go. Let's go ahead and upgrade these rooms as well. Uh, we're going to go with rest and healing 200%, so that's pretty good for me. We'll do that one. And we will also... Oh, we're out of power now. Okay. So, I guess we'll probably have to do another battery room right here. Maybe we might break down one of the extra restrooms if we need more power down the line. But for now, let's go ahead and make this one happen. And let's see, let's think about upgrades over here too. Oh, we're going to need the power station up and running before we do that. So let's just have you guys hang out there for a while. Let's find out how things are happening over here. Pretty good. We have this heal room over here. Um, let's see, for this upgrade, we do have this happening, right? We might want to switch it over to the fridge so we get some healing done over here. And we can just kill this room right here really quickly, right? So let's go ahead and demolish this bad boy here after all. We will make the upgrade room and then we'll add the fridge in there so they actually heal up as well. And you, my friend, are also ready to be upgraded as well. There you go. Alrighty, we're throwing some money around, but that's okay. We're making a lot of money over here with the weed alone, so it's not amazing money, but it's money that's actually a profit over time, so it's not really a big deal. And again, the thing that I have to tell myself is, Falcon, patient. Just be very patient and not overexpand. Okay, so this is up and running. We have 19 of 35. Excellent. Let's go ahead now and try to upgrade this bad boy here. So we'll upgrade to, let's see, for the acid, what do we have here? Pretty much the same thing as the weed one, right? So we will do the chemical reactor for 150. Do we want that one or do we want 200 for more stamina usage? Mm, no, I think this is a pretty good medium. So we'll do that one and we will also do that one. You, my friend, can start working over here. 
You guys hang out here. I'll give you those stalls here pretty soon. I just want to get a bit of acid stored up so that when we can open up the shop, we don't have to worry about um, not being supplied in time. Plus, it'll give these guys a few times to actually level up because they're actually pretty new. I think I just bought them not too long ago. Or sorry, not bought them, but hired them not too long ago. So that'll give them a chance to level up here a little bit. Uh, what we could do is actually get one stall happening meanwhile, right? One stall shouldn't be much of a problem. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, let's see, what is it? which one's this one? 125 for acid, 125 for acid. Does it really matter which room you use? I don't think it does, because in the past that was my issue where I thought we needed this one to sell weed, but in reality, you sold whatever you wanted over here. So for instance, 180 for that, 160. Acid is 100 on this one, 100 over here, 110 here, and 100 over here. Yeah, so, it, I mean, they will get, like, better at least better prices depending on which stall you have but for the most part you could sell whatever you want there uh, obviously you're not going to maximize your value on say uh what is that smack you're not going to maximize your value in smack if you sell it here but you still can sell it there you get three customers with this one four over here and five over here so that would be the difference though if you want to get more customers coming in but for now let's start off small we'll do with the the ideal one for uh, mass anyway we'll place this one over here Good, and we'll have a little bit of backstock going on over here. You, my friend, I'm not sure what it is here. Excuse me. Yeah, get out of there. You, come back to work and well, work over here, I guess. You guys switch places there for a while. Kind of weird. Okay. Guys, make sure to get your rest whenever you need it. I should probably build this room for them again. So, place this over here. Great. This, I guess, could be demolished at this point now. Don't really need that. Alrighty. So, we're good to go. Who is my better seller? 3.4. Let's start off with you over here. Alrighty, open for business. Who wants some acid? Good to go. Alrighty, dogs. Get in line, junkies. We got it all here. Well, actually, we don't have it all. We just have um acid. But that's what you're here for, just the acid itself. Well, technically, they should be. Where is somebody let these people in? Hey, let these people in. You need to get some rest, too. Well, I mean... <laughs> we're open for business. Oh, there he comes, the first guy. There you go, perfect. Oh, we can also upgrade the dealer rooms as well. Check this out. With the dealer rooms, you can actually add a CCTV, allows to control more junkies at a time, meaning you get an extra junkie in your area here to be selling to, and you also get more customers. Now, the downside to that is obviously you need to make sure that you have enough, um, a, a good enough seller to make sure that they don't get uh, too antsy in the pants and actually start actually causing a riot for you. We also have this one, which actually sells the price a bit higher, so 150 sell rate, and we also have stamina over here. I like the idea of either selling or maybe even this one. I think we might be able to do fines right now with this one because this is going to be four customers, right? So let's go ahead and install the CCTV. Bring us up to four of ten so we could make a little bit more money here as we wait around and get some more product happening over here. And let these guys level up a bit faster so they produce more faster for us. And we'll get the second stall happening and that'll be all fine and dandy. How are you guys doing over here? Pretty good? Let me go ahead and upgrade this to the fridge. There you go. And right now we have two of these over here. I suppose what we could do, we're at 30 of 35. Oh, that's going to be a problem. We might have to actually destroy one of these after all then if we want to make the extra stall. Because the extra stall is going to cost us two. The upgrade itself is going to be five more. So we might have to row with only one restroom over here. Which could be a problem, assuming people are going to get some rest at some point. But uh, let's see, how is our stock right now? Pretty decent, I would say. Decent enough. How's your uh, patience? Yeah, pretty high. Okay, let's go ahead and do it then. Is that a good idea, Falcon? Are you being patient? I'm trying to be as patient as I honestly can, okay? As humanly possible for a Falcon to be patient, I am being patient. So let's go ahead and demolish this one. We will get another battery room up and running over here. And set the stall up here pretty soon. So let's demolish. Let's go ahead and do the old battery room. Place that one right there. How's their money? 5,583. Yesterday's income was pretty low because we're actually, you know... Spending on making rooms and upgrades and everything, but it's okay. We will s quickly be in the positives, obviously, no questions about that. So, it seems our productivity seems relatively fine for now. This is going to be up and running pretty soon. We will upgrade it, and then we'll get that stop and running up there. So, do that one, and let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Alrighty, you ready for this? Who are you? You ready for this, Clement? Alrighty, man, remember, customer service, the customer always comes first. It doesn't matter if they're a junkie or not. It's your job to placate to their needs. Let's get you get some rest here first before you're ready to go. Get that out of the way. Perfect. As soon as that's built, he might go over there by himself. Nope, I'm going to have to assign him. There you go. So we have 7 of 10 over here as well. Obviously, our productivity is going to actually go up a bit faster now because um, if we want these um, crazy dudes not going crazy, we're going to have to 
produce as fast as we are selling. I'm going to keep it at 7 of 10 here for a while, and we'll see how this plays out for us right now. Okay, that's great. So, that's going fine over here. You're getting some rest over here. We have a bunch of weed over here, too. Considering grabbing another area for a garage so we can start moving some product from one area to the other, as you can see over here, we're completely packed. What I could do over here is actually clear out half of the stock, and that's pretty good because it keeps your people making weed so they don't ever stop working. And if they need to level up, they'll continue leveling up. For instance, Charles over here needs a few more leveling. What about you? You're already maxed out in a sense. Let's get you some rest here, dog, after you're done. And you are still leveling up, too. So, yeah, we still have a few people leveling over here. So, now everybody's completely maxed out, which is fine. That's what you want happening. I did move all of my maxed out people over here for the most part because this is a new area. So, I want to get my feet wet on it pretty comfortably and have all of my best workers here. And over here, we have enough of a production rate happening so we could actually level people up here and then move them other places. I'm actually thinking for once. All these drugs around me, and I'm thinking clearly. Drug-free, baby. That's Falcon. Alcohol-free, maybe not so much. But drug-free, you got it. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see. But what else do we need to do here really quickly? Um, Alrighty. So I think everything here is going fine. We have this guy over here just kind of taking care of things here. Let's have you up here. If anybody goes crazy, I just need you to punch him in the mouth and tell him to relax, okay? That's going to be your job. Punch in the mouth, tell him to relax. That's going to be your flow pattern right there. And we could get an upgrade over here happening, too. Now, for this one, I don't really want to add another junkie to it just yet. I think this might be fine enough for now, so let's do instead... We could do stamina or cell, bill, or cell rate. Let's go with cell rate for this one. Alright, there you go. Excellent. I do like the fact that you can see the little CCTV camera up here. And then for this one, you should be able to see the little register right there, too. There it is, right here. <laughs> I like these little upgrades. They're actually more superficial than anything. Sure, it adds a little bit more of an element to the game in terms of depth. But it's really not too crazy. It's basically the same thing with a little bit of an extra addition to it. But hey, I enjoy it so far, so that's fine. Alright, so everything is over here coming positive. We're making, you know, yesterday's income was 1,687. All good and dandy over here. We could use a little bit more, as you can see, um, acid productivity over here. This could be a problem if people aren't getting any rest in time. How's your patience? 45? Yeah, that could be a problem. I really would like another um, acid stall over here, but... I really can't make it happen because we actually do need all these extra rooms for the power over here. Unless I decided to drop the productivity of one of these acid stalls, I guess it's the other way you could do it. More importantly, just get a car to start moving product from one area to the other. That would be the other one. Patience is 44. Patience right now is 51. I think we should be fine here. The productivity worries me a little bit. Yeah, you're still at 2. I should have probably brought... Huh, we might want to move some people, honestly. Might want to move some people. Let's check this out here really clear, quickly. Uh, there is a way for... Is there a way for me to just turn off a stall here without having to destroy it? Because I would rather do that. Like, if you destroy a stall, do you actually lose the junkies here? Meanwhile, does it lower itself where it's still 7 of 10, regardless of what you do? Because we're at acid anyway. Oh no, the, the numbers actually stay. The junkies are always here. Oh no. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here for today. That's actually kind of terrifying for me now because we're actually one stall short. We have seven junkies that we're going to be pretty mad pretty soon. Uh-oh. I probably might have botched that one. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.